it's such a hard thing to see my dad living with Alzheimer's. And I know that God uses our biggest pain. I totally believe this is how God's using dad living with Alzheimer's in one way is to help other people. These fuzzy creatures are uniquely capable of dampening psychological trauma. Cuddling teddy bears evokes a sense of peace, security, and comfort during situations that may be hard for people to regain social connection. You know, he's been living with Alzheimer's for probably seven, eight years, and I'd be done doing the daily activities with him, you know, what what are we going to do? It's hard to carry on a conversation or, you know, anything with him. Got to have something to focus on besides the confusion. And then teddy bears came to my mind. Okay, teddy bears. I've never made one. What do I do? I did. I came home and I laid it on my copier and made, you know, patterns. And I went to my sewing room and grabbed some fabric and started in. Got the first one done and I thought, wow. And you know, made a couple more, and then I went over to see my dad. Took the stuffing with me and all that, and I sat on the fireplace hearth and had the big bag of stuffing beside me, and I was stuffing it. And he was sitting over in his chair, and I'd stuff a little bit, and I'd hold it up like this. He looked at it, good job, and I went, whoa, he connected. So I'd stuff some more, and I'd hold it up, and he'd smile, and yeah. So I got the whole body stuffed. I said, it's all done, Dad. And I held it up and I stood up. He stood up and we met in the middle of the living room. I'm holding this teddy bear and he looks at it and starts quacking like a duck. Because that's what he always did to all the grandkids, you know, <laughs> that type of thing. So. I'm standing there holding the teddy bear. Dad's in front of me with his hands on the face of the teddy bear and quacking at it. And, well, hello, dear. How are you? Talking to it. And I'm just like, this is different, but he's happy. I'm like, okay, I can go with that. Go home, go to my sewing room because it's my, my therapy. Took more bear bodies with me and was sitting there working on him and he was watching me. Do you want to help me, Dad? Well, sure. And so I said, well, come here and have him, you know, sit beside me. And so he sits beside me and hands me the stuffing and says the same thing over and over and over. Is this enough? It's just right, Dad. Can I have another handful? I can get another handful. Is this enough? It's just right, Dad. And so we'd sit there and just talk about the same thing over and over and over, stuffing these bears. Well, this went on for several weeks and I've got these bears. And then one day it was um, Tasia, my hairdresser. She says, well, could you make some out of my grandpa's shirts? I'm like, oh, I suppose so. That's how the memory bears came about out of loved one's clothing and it just exploded. That I've made almost 400 bears now in four years. And every bear represents a person and the story behind the person is means a lot to me, you know, and while I'm sewing on that person's bear, I'm thinking of their loved ones and praying that this bear will give them comfort. Most all of the special ones out of loved ones clothing he has his hands on helping me do and like my mom said just a few weeks ago she just wished that daddy could know how many people he's comforting by handing me stuffing and helping me with the teddy bears <sighs> he enjoys helping it gives him something to do it gives him a purpose in that moment Feeling that and just and having something, something to do, something to hold on to. Um, sometimes it's the bag, you know, he'll grab a hold of the bag and pull that all up. And other times, not very often, he, he does not want to help. But as soon as I start, I say, okay, dad, you just watch me and I'll sit here and we'll just talk and I'll stuff the teddy bears. 
and then he's watching. And pretty soon he says, oh, you you help, you know, because he can't really say a whole sentence that makes sense. But I know that's what he means. And so then he's like, okay, he's a big huff and he sits up in his chair, okay. And he grabs the bag and he starts handing me the stuffing. But, you know, now the value of it's just me and my dad sitting here spending time together. As hard and as emotional as it is, a lot of times I leave there crying. I won't, won't regret a second of it. 